Well, it looks like the governor's here. Mac Dean was never one to miss an opportunity, so watch out for the press. Billy. Jeb Willoughby and I were at a function when we heard the news, so uh, what do you hear about the senator? Probably no more than you do, Mac. Evening, Jeb. How are you doing, Billy? Well, real bad news, isn't it? You know, I never did support Ben in office, but he's a damn good man. Give him my best, will you? Oh, uh, Bill, you tell him I don't want to lose a good bridge club. See you all later. Yes, got it. Hi, Ruth. Good floor, John. Well, you got yourself another bar, Judge. You can't way over your head, you know. What did you expect? The birdie is yet to come. <laughs> See about that. It'll just be five minutes. Judge, before you hit a hole in one, I'd like to talk to you for a moment. A piece for the wicked, Jeb. Uh-huh. Sorry to disturb your game, General. Oh, I think nothing of it, Will. I'll see you on the next tee. I hope this is important. I got some money on this round. Do you? The mission was satisfactory, sir. Yes, it was, Harold. Fine piece of work at the farm. Organization's proud of you. That was a real scorched earth retreat, wasn't it? I killed a policeman, sir. I know you did, Harold. That was necessary. Police know who you are, of course, but don't worry. My source in the department says they fear they have lost you. How are we going to fix it? All the credit cards you're going to need, a new social security number under the name of James Ross. Now, there's an address in there of a surgeon. Practices in Cobb County. He took a long look at your photograph, and he says he can make a new man of you. I want you to go there now. He's going to work on you tonight. Thank you, sir. We have a lot of friends, Harold. Remember that. You just relax, get through your operation. Then I've got a new assignment for you. It is pleasant to come away from the campaign trail, however briefly, to be with friends at your beautiful church. Brothers I've got a contact out looking for surgeons who do work on the like side. Nothing's turned up yet, but I'm still hopeful. Friend and a true American, a man who fought for our country and for our flag, and he continues that fight as we all continue that fight. Hey, Manny, this know this guy Calhoun? You ever notice every time there's a heavy murder, this clown starts preaching? Remember when you got shot? Who was the first one outside? Good old Reverend Don. Hey, who's the general? Jeb Stuart Willoughby. He was one of the big boys in Vietnam until he got into trouble. He now runs an organization called Americans for Moral Defense. But our regret has been lessened with the knowledge that as a candidate for the United States Senate, Dr. Calhoun will be making an even greater contribution to his state and to his country. What are you doing here, Ernest? Well, like I was saying, I was contacted by this certain party and asked to do a surveillance job. Uh, I was told to follow this certain young lady who was to be meeting a certain gentleman, and I was asked to record and photograph the occasion. A certain lady and a certain gentleman. Don't they have names? Of course, sir. The young woman isn't important to the organization. But the gentleman, he is. And why is the gentleman important? He's a politician. Running for the Senate. What were the young lady and the gentleman doing? Silly of me to ask. 
I assume the young lady can damage him? If he's a publisher? <laughs> yes, sir. Most definitely. Give them to me. <laughs> Thank you, Ernest. We'll be in touch with you. some photographs here that your newspaper might be real interested in seeing. I'll have them on your desk within an hour. Don't print them yet, though. Let me tell you when. Hmm? Why, nearer to the primaries. that is destroying Georgia from within. As we steamroll toward the year 2000, educate... Hello? Manny. Yeah, Mickey. Yeah. Dr. Albright just met with somebody that you know. Remember that Johnny Reb general who was always with Calhoun? Willoughby? That's him. I don't see a connection with Perkerson. What do you know about Willoughby? Gung-ho type, typical Marine. He was a Marine? And so was Perkerson. Bingo. Now we come to the girl, Harold. Susie Harrington. She was an FBI informer. Got some inside information. She was arrested last year on a drug charge. Made a deal with the Bureau in order not to be prosecuted. You know what they did? They sent her to work for Dr. Albright. That's how it all began. I never suspected, sir. In fact, I rather liked her. That's the way they work, Harold. They make you like them. Sentiment is weakness. That means the FBI must know about me. Why haven't they tried to arrest me? Harold, perhaps they were hoping you'd lead them to me. All right. Well, Harold, we've got a situation. I misjudged this fellow, Will Lee. I thought he'd be a weaker candidate than Mac Dean, but I was wrong. So now we have to help the Reverend Calhoun and eliminate Mr. Lee as soon as the trial is over. So remember, that order cannot, under any circumstances, be revoked. I understand, sir. It will be done. Come on, Lance. What? Yes, Sergeant. I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, about a... I thought you ought to know. We've learned that the black cop is not dead as was believed. He's alive. He can identify Perkinson. I see. He's been following you for days. He can tie you to Perkinson. Thank you, Sergeant. That'll be all. Harold? Yes, sir. Listen, I've changed my mind. I think I'm going to join you. Tonight? That's right. You just wait for me, will you? Yes, sir. In the parking area at the mansion. I'll be there, sir.
George, why don't you take a walk, get some ale? Yes, sir. Forget the honored, Harold. I called you because I want you to abort the mission. Abort it, sir? The cop you thought was dead, he's not dead. You've been followed, Harold. He can link you to me. The order cannot be revoked, sir. I quote your words, sir. I'm telling you, Harold. Under no circumstances, sir. Am I correct? These are new orders, Sergeant Perkison. Do you read me? I read you, sir. The order cannot be revoked. 